go set it go set it go set it go 2024 that the quegu the biafran army with, in connection with the biafran air force has taken down one powerful british oil company <laughs> oh set it go set it go oh son a bazi kwa ba when you gonna na bazi kwa so you see um gone are the days when people will begin to say what they want to say or do what they want to do can you mean have a video can you mean have a video you can see how the bomb landed with full force m26 is active m16 is active the biafran air force are active when Mazi Simon ever told them that you people will see what we are going to do in biafran land will not allow you to take over biafran land they thought that Mazi Simon ever is joking they called him a joker but the game has just started i must say it with every formidable force that our victory has been registered has been written in the golden book and those who try to put us to one side have now seen that we are not jokes we don't joke we are not jokes we, we don't joke in nature we must continue to put through and put ourselves in every form and understanding because one good turn deserves another I've been saying the times with that number that these people have a very deadly intention towards Biafrans. See what is happening in the north. It's an example. They have not get hold of you. The day they will get hold of some of you guys, you will know that in the Afachoro Kai Fosa. They don't want us. They don't want us to see the light. That is why. They are matching every Biafran with honesty, with truth, that we cannot watch our people go for no just reason. We can't watch our people. Today, the US released the M26 back to us, and the Nigerian government are crying. Not just a few hours, the Biafran has taken over the oil department, and so on and so on. More good news will be registered. But I just want to say one single thing. Everybody should applaud Prime Minister Simon Eber. Without that young man, most of you might have forgotten about Biafra. Most of you, I'm telling you, many of you, we're talking about many, most of you would have forgotten about anything that has to do with Biafra. And there's no longer the time to forget. This is the time to look into what should be looked into and produce the needful. We are moving with maximum speed and I am saying it that this is now the time to put ourselves together and consider one big news, one very big news. We cannot imitate words. We cannot allow ourselves to go away, but we in connection of all the things we do, we must put ourselves together to understand the very victory that we all possess. And Biafra is just the beginning. So, for some of you who are not supporting what we are doing, kudos to you. But note, we will not stop. We cannot stop. And we eventually push through this whole effectiveness for the time has come for the biggest victory let's get it you <laughs> thought we were joking <coughs> sorry the u.s mission has released the m26 that is seized the US government has ordered the release of M16. This is how the M16 looks like. Fighter jet that takes down four powerful fighter jets before they even notice it present. They have released it because now they want to know why the Nigerian government disregards this set of people. You see, 
I will be very fast and I will be very honest with everything that we are doing today. Mazi Prime Minister Simon Epa has given an idea that will eventually put us together. Because by the time in Africa they strike, this is how they didn't strike. By the time they, they get together to see the light, they will eventually see the truth we penetrate. And that's where the goal is. So, along the line, everything is placed in accordance. Everything is placed in accordance. And that is where victory must be searched. I will say it with my full chest that Biafrans are coming to that point where we will win and nothing will be done about it. We're going to win radically, communically, and by so doing, our world will see the light that we share. So the Nigerian government are in, in soup after all their tears. Go and browse it if some of you do not know how it works. Go and browse it. Several countries regained their freedom. By what Prime Minister Simon Eber is doing. Outside. If you cannot win them from inside, then you start from outside. And they knew, they knew that Nandekano was already close to that play, to that point. They knew. They knew that Nandekano was already close to that point. That is why they did everything fast to keep him behind bars. Until today, they don't want to release him. They want to keep him behind bars because they are so wish to Islamize Nigeria is pushing and some people are clapping for them. Many of us are crying now. We are crying, we are crying, we are crying and say that these people want to Islamize Nigeria. And people say we are making noise. Our victory will be noted. Because this is now the point where each and every one of us must see that we are victoriously in nature. Let's fight it till we win it.